Merry Christmas and welcome to Gladys Cake Kitchen. Today in our Vlogmas series, we are making these simple gingerbread cookie cupcakes filled with caramel and topped off with caramel French buttercream, finished off with a sprinkling of crushed spiced biscuits and a drizzle of more caramel. These cupcakes are all about the flavors of Christmas, which are rather simple to make. So let's get baking. With cupcakes, you want to start by lining the tins and the recipe quantity makes about 22 cupcakes. But I have 20 green cupcake liners, so I'm just going to go with that and make it work because I'm slightly weird and don't like mixing my cupcake liners with different colors. Am I alone in this? I'm not obsessive or anything, but it's a preference I like to exercise strongly, especially for a baking marathon. It makes it easy for me to identify flavors easily. Cupcakes lining done, let's get to the batter. I'm using a stand mixer here solely for convenience, but the quantity and recipe can be made using a hand mixer. Into the mixing bowl goes in some caster sugar, brown sugar and margarine which is set to cream for about 5 minutes. But two and a half minutes in, the mixer is scraped in for a uniform mix and mixing continues until the mixture is pale and light. At the five minutes mark, black treacle is added to the mix. This is to intensify the flavor of the gingerbread, which will also be enhanced by other flavors such as cinnamon, ground cloves, ground ginger and nutmeg, which will be added to the flour. Recipe quantities are noted in the description box for you, so please do check that out. Now, treacle is sticky and doesn't mix easily, so a little scraping of the bowl for a uniform mix will be helpful. After two minutes of adding the treacle in, eggs are added and mixing for another two minutes before the flour is introduced. The flour has a pinch of salt and the spices mixed in, but details of all the spices and extra information about the recipe is noted in the description box for you. Buttermilk is added and the rest of the flour goes into the mixer. The mixer is now stopped and the butter is to be mixed by hand. Now when I tried this recipe, I found the consistency of the cupcake butter a little dense, hence the addition of buttermilk, which helps to tenderize the cupcake. The flavor is great, but the consistency perhaps has something to do with the fact that this is a cookie-like textured cupcake. I'm developing this recipe in the hopes we get a lighter textured cupcake. The butter is now distributed into the cases with each case receiving about a scoop and a half of the butter. And just in case gingerbread isn't your thing, I have a simple vanilla cupcake recipe as well as some easy Christmas decorations in this vlogmas series to help you enjoy some simple bakes this Christmas. For this recipe though for instance, the objective was to stick with flavors instead of decorating just in case you are not confident about decorating a cupcake altogether. I also have a simple video teaching you simple Christmas decorations that are made from short board decorations. So you might want to check that out if you're a complete novice who is looking to try something new. The butter is distributed and the cupcakes will be baked at 170 degrees C for 22 minutes. Now the cupcakes are done baking and they are back and here's what we have. These bake with a slight crust on top but are packed with flavor and will be kept in the fridge to cool, returned later to be filled and finished off. Now that the cupcakes are cooling, I have some French buttercream, a portion of which is placed in a glass bowl. The recipe for this buttercream is linked up here for you and it is a very beginner friendly buttercream which I encourage you to check out. And into the buttercream, I'll add some caramel. A little confession though, the caramel is shortboard which is also in theme with keeping things rather simple. But be careful, I was meant to flavor the buttercream lightly with the caramel but I ended up overpouring a bit more than I needed and had to work with it. This made the buttercream a little bit runny and unstable, which isn't too bad for the winter season and for flavor, but I won't be trying this in the summer. 
buttercream is sorted and it's time to core the cupcakes. I found the coring also slightly tricky because of the crusty tops. I'd forgotten the cupcakes were cold and dense so it was hard to poke through but I got through in the end and the cupcakes were filled with some caramel. Now that the cupcakes are done with the caramel filling, we have a topping of caramel flavored buttercream, which is then followed by a sprinkling of crushed biscuits. Some of the biscuits are then broken and added on top of the cupcakes. And there's a final drizzle of caramel, which is also shortboard, but shush, we're keeping that a secret. I must admit I didn't realize what a commitment it was to take on the vlogmas series but I also wanted to challenge myself to stay consistent which I am trying. I have had a few challenges which meant have you noticed a few missing uploads. That aside I'm not sure about the daily uploads though however I'll be keeping this going for as long as I can over the Christmas season but there are more exciting content in the new year. So if you're new here hello and welcome. My name is Gladys and over here I make simple informative tutorials to help you navigate cake decorating easily. So whilst you're at it do consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos like these and more. There are more decorating videos on this channel where I break down a lot of the decorating techniques, informing you and handing you foolproof tips for you to take on your own decorating activities at home. But all that aside, we are done with the cupcakes and here is what we have. Crunchy flavorful and yummy cupcakes. I'm off to have my cupcake, try yours and have fun with it. I'll be back with more Vlogmas episodes. Thanks for watching.